Hi guys, welcome back to more episodes of The Last of Us. We are, I said The Last, The Last of Us. Um, we're almost at the end. This is episode 8 coming up out of 9 episodes, at least for this first season. Which, as I'm recording this, they've just confirmed that there is a season 2, but it's going to be a while away. We're probably looking back end of 2024, early 25, so see you then for that. <laughs> um, that last episode, the whole thing in the amusement park with Riley and Ellie and the best friend sexual overtones that it was given us. I didn't want to say too much in case they just left it there, but then they pushed further into it because obviously we don't find out anything to do of that um, until the second game. So, but they went... The, they went and gave us a full backstory between her and Riley. She mentioned it, I think, to Tess at the beginning. And now we leave it with her still, while all that was going on, the whole flashback. Joel's bleeding out. He's dying. She's determined not to lose him. So... At the end of the episode, we, we jump back of her trying to save his life. I'm kind of hoping we're picking up not far after that. So let's go. This is episode eight. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And God will wipe away all tears from their eyes. For there will be no more death. How much do we have left? Venison. Elk, rabbit. Keep the whole town on rations. Maybe a week. They're running on supplies. I mean, does she even know what to do here? When he gets a severe infection, he's dead. And really hope here right now that no one knows where they are. Food. There isn't going to be much around with all this snow. Ah, shit. Oh, that, that guy was just talking about it, dear. Oh, Christ, how close are they are to them here, I'm wondering. It's a beautiful creature, but... Yeah, she did it right. Oh. Uh, what do you think? They are close. I don't see any way. You think we can just take it? No, it's not yours. It's not your kill. Drop your rifles! Now! They're not going to see you as a threat. You're quite a hunter. We didn't even hear you coming. Turn around and walk away. We're from a larger group, women, children, and we're all very, very hungry. We're not asking for charity. We, we can trade you for some of the deer. We have, what do you need? We have boots. Medicine? Medicine. Like for infections. Buddy boy can go get it. He comes back, you get half the deer. Anyone else shows up, I put one, one right, right between, between my eyes. From where I'm sitting, you shouldn't be out here on your own. Fair enough. I'm a decent man. Don't Just believe it. Take care of the people who I'm a real me. fucking pessimist when it comes to stuff like this. It wasn't my choice. It was theirs, but... Before that, I was a teacher. <laughs> Math. Why am I not surprised? Lower but, the gun. But our friend did. Yeah, you guys came scavenging to take from them. I know you're not with a group. You won't survive for long out there. I can protect you. He's not. Maybe he may get better because you're going to need him without his help here. Because those two guys are going to find you. Joe, where the fuck do I put this? <sighs> oh god, that's gonna hurt. If you've heard a rumor, Yes, we found a girl who was with the man who took Alec from us. There we go. 
When the sun rises, I'll lead a group out to pick up her trail. And what, what are you going to do? And we'll bring that man to justice. Or he's dying. You should kill him. You should kill both of them. They don't know the details. Oh. Something rather dark about this dude. I know you think you don't have a father anymore. Huh. But the truth is, Hannah, you will always have a father. I hate him already. And you will show him respect when he's speaking. Lord, bless this food and grant that we may thankful for thy mercies be. Has it been installed? I don't mean to question your sense of mercy, David. We can let her go. We bring that girl back with us. She's just another mouth to feed. If we leave her out here, she'll die. Okay. But if anybody makes it down here, you fucking kill them. You got it? Joe. He hasn't got that kind of Joe, strength. Don't fall asleep. The problem is, if Ellie takes any of these down. They're gonna make an example of her because I don't see her stopping them all. Yes. Yeah, she's trying to pull them away. Sorry. I got her! <sighs> don't you fucking dare. He's gonna stop here. Yeah, he would have done. He's moving it. She blocked the door, didn't she? <laughs> this is tense. Because I don't know where he's hiding. <sighs> God, look how bad the guy's teeth are. Sorry, I didn't mean to focus on that. <laughs> Problem now is what does. What plans does he have in store for Ali here? The others, they want me to kill you for all that's happened. At no point, we've seen every other people that they've come across who don't know who they are. What is the first thing they're checking for? Are you infected? Have you recently just been infected? And I don't know you're infected because you're not showing signs of it yet, even though we know most of them have less than a day. But for the first few hours, you know, like when Tess got bit, we didn't know until she told us. He hasn't even checked that. He could have brought someone infected into his camp and wiped the lot of them out. That's the hubris of whoever this guy is. But of course, also at the same time, not knowing that what we know, she is infected, but she's immune. Let me protect you. I'm not on my own. That part of your life, it's ending. And what I'm offering you is a beginning. Timothy? They've come looking. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know any girl. Oh, Lies. Oh, Jesus! She's alive. Smart. Uh, don't be lad. Go ask him, he'll tell you I'm not lying. Oh! Yeah. No. No! Oh. Why the fuck did you do that? He told you what you wanted. I ain't telling you shit. It's okay. No. I believe him. No. <laughs> and he knows it. And he has formed that bond with Ellie. He's not gonna let anything happen to her now if he can at all help it. For what it's worth, this is just dear meat, I swear. Yeah, that's why the guy's teeth were so bad. If you want to judge me... Judge you? You're eating people, you sick fuck! Yeah, you are. Yes. Yeah, and do you know what that there leads to? There are only to? a few of us that know, but I would have told you. It was a last resort. You think it doesn't shame me? But what was I supposed to do? If I let you out of that cage right now, put that knife of yours in your hand, you'd stick me in a second. What does cordyceps do? Is it evil? No. It's fruitful. It multiplies. It feeds and protects its children. 
the way the others can't. They need God. They need heaven. They need... Something. Guidance. They need a father. Yeah. He knows none of that shit. I'm a shepherd surrounded by sheep, and all I want is an equal. Lord knows I could use the help. No. Look what's happened. You know what he's looking for here. I don't need to spell it out, do I? Imagine the life we could give them. This is dark. <laughs> you used that word? Wasn't expecting that. Let's see what I go tell the others now. I, I don't even know how he's standing. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh my god. Oh shit, they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it. Please don't do it. Please don't. You had your chance. No. Oh. There you go. That'll, that'll stop him. Roll up my sleeve. Look at it. Yeah. Look at it. <sighs> what did you say? Everything happens for a reason, right? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Come on, Joel. She's, she's trying to get out here. We need to lo locate her. Just bought herself a, a little bit of time there. Oh, this is so good because I remember. <laughs> I remember too much of this. Now, do you know what type of man you know he is? That is going to burn the whole place down. But you're not. You're going to focus on her. That means nothing no to you. No way out, Ellie. Ellie, I know you're not infected. What's the secret? Or are you just that fucking special? You don't know what I could have given you if you would just let me. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Fuck. Is that right there? He's gonna know that's what he's going for. Yeah. That's how he likes it. Fighting is the part I like the most. Yeah. That's not what I call it. Come on, Ellie. Come on. Stick it through his fucking head. Yeah. Wow. That's what you would call a frenzied attack. Good on you. Good on you. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. So let's calm down. Calm down. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it's me. It's me. Fucking hell. It's okay, baby girl. I got you. Jeez, what a hell of an ordeal she's had to go through there. That was. Okay, guys, episode eight. Yes, I've managed to wipe away a couple of tears there. Um, mainly because the acting in the show is just sublime, but also because not wanting to give anything away for for those of you that haven't been familiar with the storyline, um, I, I didn't want to say anything. But that part of the story in the game probably broke most of us because you're interacting with it and you're having at that point in the game you are playing Ellie you're not playing Joel we swap characters around because we get to the point where he's injured and it was a shock in the game when suddenly you you the person who's been controlling Joel for the whole of the game and then suddenly it cuts to a scene and suddenly you're Ellie and you're like, what the hell's going on? It's, it was so... It was so unexpected and, and um, something they don't really do in games very often. You play the character that you play. You don't tend to swap characters mid-story. But with how this whole world is and, and how it progresses and the fact that he becomes injured... Um, which is why I wanted to keep my mouth shut 
But that point of the story where you're playing Ellie and you come across this bastard. They, put, they portrayed that well. Really well. Um, they, they kept, I would say, probably 85 to 90% of that true to the original story. Um, which is why it was very emotional and, and provoking at the end there. Uh, what a son of a bitch. I mean... <sighs> Yeah, I know I went on a little bit at the beginning about the religious side of things, but it's because it's always used. And I'm not sure, none of us can be sure, we don't live in an apocalyptic world, okay? There isn't 98% of the population dead and we could say we'd have any experience of what it would and what it wouldn't do to the people who remain. But I really don't think religion would come into it at that point. You would have to be very very easily minded and swayed in a particular sense of um being lost to still believe at that point ellie put it eloquently you think there's still a god and you're still preaching after all this shit's took place anyway that that's a separate thing i don't want to go down a rabbit hole with that um so we've got one episode left now, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also not looking forward to it because it's going to be the end for now and it's going to be a long time before we get a season two, but it's been absolutely phenomenal. It's been gripping, it's been dark, it's been shocking as it was supposed to be. And the Bond, you noticed he said, Joel in particular there, I've got you baby girl. When was the last time he said that? So the bond is there, okay? They've both been on this epic journey. They're not there yet. We're going to join them in episode nine, in the season finale, and see what happens. So by all means, please join me for the uh, season finale. I will be back with episode nine next week. All episodes are available on YouTube playlist, full-length versions on Patreon. As always, check the link in the description. And if you haven't subscribed and you're enjoying this show or you went enjoy any sort of apocalyptic shows i've plenty of others that i'm reacting to right now i wouldn't mind you giving the channel a quick sub and i will see you for the season finale next take care guys Don't.